Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dimmit Chevrolet in sunny Clearwater, Florida. And guess what? I have another vehicle that I know Batman would want to be behind the wheel of. It's this muscle car right here. This is it. This is a 2023 Camaro SS. And as you can see, drop top convertible. But before we get into this mean, lean, blacked out muscle car machine, let's talk about what's going on here. We are on the cusp of a lot of change. What is that change? 2024 marks the end of the current Chevrolet Camaro in its sixth generation of the iconic nameplate. It's just crazy to think that such an iconic car that's been around since 1967 is once again in its history gonna meet its demise. Because remember, at the end of 2002, Chevrolet pulled the plug on the Camaro. Now what's fascinating is, is that there's a lot of change going on with the muscle car landscape. Dodge has announced that they're going full electrification. Mustang from Ford is getting a redesign and some really interesting touches. But what I want to find out is, right here, right now, is the Camaro SS convertible the perfect muscle car to buy? If you're looking for a drop top convertible, or do you want to go Mustang GT? Or do you want to pay the extra dinero to get one of those custom convertible challengers straight from Dodge? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this blacked out SS and find out. Right off the bat, I don't think a car could look more mean than when you have it totally blacked out. Just like the Z06 that we did not too long ago from Dimit Chevrolet, this Camaro is right on that same Batman lineage. Now at the front end of the business, you're gonna see the last of the sixth generation design. This is how it's been since about 2020, 2019, 2020, where they did that refresh. You have LED daytime running lamps, LED headlights, and then you have a lot of functionality with the corner air curtains. Of course, we have our SS badge. What does that stand for? Not super smart, not super slow, super sport. And that automatically tells you what engine do we have? Take a guess. No, not the V6, silly. Underneath the hood, we got muscle power with the V8 engine, that naturally aspirated V8. Now, as we come across the front, I do like the way they changed the design. Remember back in 2019, they did the, re the refresh and they put the bow tie in the bumper, and even though it was a flow tie, it did not look right. It just looked kind of bizarre and odd. Now, the funny thing is, if you have one of those 2019s, maybe down the road 20 years from now at the Meekum Auto Auction, you'll be laughing all the way to the bank. But definitely, style-wise, I'm really liking how they did this center section of the SS, especially the lower grill, because they kind of made it look a little bit like the ZL1 with the overall design intention and the shape of it. Of course, you're gonna get that nice large splitter that extends out, that's all body color matched. And I, of course, like the blacked out bow tie. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you're gonna have that functional heat extractor, flat black, drag the hot air out. Love the way we got a little bit of bulge action on both sides of that heat extractor. And then, of course, coming around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? On our particular one, we have these blacked out, super gloss black, 20 inch wheels, wrapped up front, 245 on the width, 40 series sidewall, those Goodyear Eagle One, Goodyear Eagle One, Goodyear F1 supercar tire, Goodyear Eagle One would be the Goodyear blimp that you see over sport, sports events. You'll notice on the SS, you are gonna get the beefed up calipers, six piston Brembo calipers with the Camaro name, Got a little bit larger rotor than your standard Camaro. And then of course they fine tune the suspension. So it's not just about taking a V8 and putting it under the hood and calling it a day. They do a tuning of the whole chassis. Now, if you compare this to a Challenger, Challenger's gonna have a 6.4 liter V8. So it's got a bigger displacement V8, a heavier V8. And if you compare this to the Mustang GT, that one's a little different because it's got the quad cam engine this is still using that good old tried and true pushrod technology that dates back to the original small block Chevy in 1955. Crazy that that technology has lasted this long. 
Coming down the side, you do have your good old red, white, and blue Chevy Camaro badge, blacked out on the mirror caps, and it's not just a gloss black, it's body colored. Love the look of the Camaro with the top down. It does have a claw top, doesn't look very sexy with the top up, but boy oh boy with the top down, and one of my favorite touches is the rear tonneau cover. So unlike the Mustang GT, unlike the Challenger that you could have custom chopped from Dodge, remember the company is actually based out of Florida that chops the top off and then delivers it to you at the Dodge dealership. This has a nice tonneau cover to clean up the whole rear look. We drop down, like I said, we got those Goodyear Eagle F1 tires. And if you're wondering with well, Joe, what kind of size we got out back, 275. So we have that limited slip diff, gonna send the power to the rear wheels, and we have 275 on the width of the tires to get the power to the ground. One thing I like to point out is unlike the Mustangs and the Challengers, this has those Brembo brakes all four corners. So that's a really, really nice touch to have that consistency all the way around. And then speaking about around, as we swing around the back tail end of the business, you get a tasteful spoiler, not my favorite because it's pedestal mounted. It kind of reminds me of the spoiler on my 1985 Firebird. Nothing wrong with that. I just wish they would have done something a little different. You do have your smoked out LED taillights. Always felt it was weird even on my own ZL11LE where they put the badge on the bumper. It's kind of like pin the tail on the Camaro. Like why did they put it here? It would have been much nicer up on the trunk. And then as we come all the way down, you're gonna get that GM performance exhaust, make it quieter to keep the peace, or do what I like to do, make it nice and loud so you can piss everybody off. Nice V8 rumble. You got that round opening slash cut. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood. Since we talked about the V8, let's pop the hood on this Chevy Camaro. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hood struts underneath the hood, like I said. It's coming to its final end for 2024. And yes, this is a model year 2023. You do have that 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8. Now, one thing I have to do is zonk the cover. I don't like this cover, especially the center part. Let me see the intake plenum. I do like the way I could see the large throttle body. And of course, up top, that strut tower brace that's also part of the SS package to help stiffen up the front end of the business. But we're looking at 455 horsepower, 455 pound-feet of torque, nice and balanced. You could get a 10-speed automatic, or guess what? Lucky day here on Rady's Rise, we have that six-speed manual transmission. If you know how to do the dance, zero to 60 in about 3.9 seconds, quarter mile goes by at 12.1 seconds at 119 miles per hour. MPGs, 16 in the city, 27 on the highway, and because this is a convertible, it weighs almost 38 hundred pounds but nice like i said to see that push rod v8 still getting it done all right guys we are inside this 2023 chevrolet camaro ss such an iconic nameplate and i know some of you are like saying to me well joe chevrolet says that they're going to bring it back as an ev and it's going to be a four-door sedan please don't tell me that and please chevrolet don't do it if you're going to kill off the camaro let it rest in peace for God's sake, but it's that time. We're talking about price. We're talking about comparing it to the Mustang GT convertible. And now that you can get a Challenger ordered from the factory to go get the, the top removed, get it chopped off, that's now another option for the Challenger. But if you're wondering how much is this Camaro SS, this particular one that I'm in, the way that it's spec'd out, MSRP $53,950, Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Now, when you go SS, you're gonna get that nice, soft leather style material up top with the contrast stitching. Same thing on the mid portion of the door panel and the armrest. And do you see that silver trim? There's actually LED ambient lighting that changes 64 colors. Roy G. Biv, remember that. And remember, back in the day, you were jealous of the kids that had the 64 box of Crayola crayons with the sharpener. That's what you get with this Camaro. In the back, you got enough room for about, I would say, six Twinkies, and that's it. Just be careful with the cream. You don't want to bust cream all over this leather interior. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, same story. I like the way they did the contrast stitching. It is hard plastic, 
but they did do the stitching very consi consistently. And then sliding on in, no, you don't have a 42 inch screen. You just have an eight inch screen. But what I like about it is that it's very quick reacting. It's very intuitive. And the colors and the graphics are spot on the money. Plus you can't ever argue with GM's cameras. The resolution is super clear and you have trajectory, which is really nice. Working your way down, we got dual climate control. What's nice is when you have the dual climate, you just turn the trim ring to adjust the temperature. That's your blower fan. And we do have three stages of ventilated seats and heated seats. And then get ready for it. Da-da! Six-speed manual, nice short throws, crisp engagement. Love the leather on the shift knob, the SS badge with the gear pattern. And it just is a pleasure to row through this six-speed. One thing I wish they did is you have a 12 volt. They need to put this closer to the dash because you're going to want to run a radar detector and then that stupid cord is going to be in the way. We got our mode selector switch, with, which also makes the exhaust louder or quieter. Two cup holders with our Chevy key fob. You do have the ability to pop the trunk and all that. This has semi soft leather with the same stitching. Open it up, two USB A's, and you got enough room. I would say for two packs of candy cigarettes, you can't even fit a phone in there. Just to give you an idea though, I'm gonna have Steven kind of earn his money right now. Right where my finger's pointing, see this? That's actually wireless charging. So you could put your iPhone 47, the gold edition, put that right there and charge. Seats, the leather, the same stitching. I like the way they did a two-tone style with the SS badge. No, don't worry. If you have no shirt on and you sit in this, it won't like brand you with SS. You actually don't even feel it. It is power adjustable for the passenger and the driver, and it's very comfortable. It's got enough bolstering to be interesting to hold you in, but it's not like the Recaros and the ZL1, which have a little bit more bolster. And then of course, up top, shabam bam, we got the digital rear view mirror. You can see the whole lineup of pre-owned vehicles at Dimit Chevrolet. And then you got the button to drop the top. But why don't you get your butt over here? I want to show you behind the flat bottom steering wheel in this Camaro SS. All right, guys, we're behind the wheel of this SS Camaro. You do have two memory seat settings. Love the Camaro name. This actually lights up ambient lighting with the red, white, and blue. In the pedal box, everything is arranged nicely, especially for heel toe downshifting, and you got a nice size dead pedal. My only zonk is I want aluminum pedals at this price point. $54,000, you could give me some aluminum. I just recycled some cans the other day. I would like to have that on my pedals. But other than that, looking good with the triple pedals. Of course, we have our electric power seats, easy to get to. I'm six feet tall. With the top up, it's actually not too shabby. You could get a helmet on and do a track day because here in the United States, usually if you're doing a track day, they make you run with the top up, not with the top down, unless you have a roll bar. That's interesting how they do that, but easily plenty of room. The challenge is, is that if you thought the regular coupe has a lot of blind spots, it's even worse with the top up. But if you put the top down, which I'm gonna do for you in a few seconds, then the blind spots go away, obviously. And then of course we got the steering wheel. Nice, two different types of leather, the perforated and the smooth, the same stitching, the SS badge, super sport. It is manual adjustment, tilting and telescoping. And if you're wondering why are there paddles, this is for the electronic rev match downshift feature. You turn it on or turn it off. It's that simple. And then you have that dash, which is also very simple and clear, analog tack speedometer. And then you have all your other gauges in the center display, which is really nice. But let me show you what it looks like putting this top down. I'm gonna close the door here. Just hold down the switch. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just so you know, you do lose some trunk space when you put the top down. And you can do it at around 35 miles an hour. You get a little chime, you're done. I'm not showing you that trunk. If you need to see it, I'll show it to you in other Camaro videos, but if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go for a little spin in this Camaro SS. All right, guys, we are inside this Chevy Camaro SS convertible. I have the top up right now, and I wanted to give you like an angle on me to let you see how it is on the inside. It's actually very comfortable once you get used to it. But hearing that V8 is just, that's the best 
part about being the owner of one of these Camaros is that glorious sound of that naturally aspirated V8. It sounds so freaking good. This transmission, this Tremec is second to none. And then with the heel toe downshifts, I mean, it's just so easy to get to the job of driving in this car. Visibility out the front is fine. The challenge is, is like I said, with the convertible top up, it really creates some blind spots. But the good news is with the digital rear view mirror, that gives you a bird's eye view of what you got going on. Plus you got a head up display, which is really nice in this particular Camaro SS. Everywhere you're touching, I love the leather. The seats are just perfect. They're like an old baseball glove, you know what I'm saying? But pulling away from the light, you got good clutch pickup. It's not like an on-off switch. And if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle. <laughs> Absolutely love it. With the convertible top, obviously there's less sound deadening material. And even with the top up, you're gonna hear the sound of that glorious V8 as you should. Steering is so precise, much more precise than a Challenger, especially once they chop the top off. But the Mustang GT, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not as precise of the steering rack in this Chevrolet Camaro SS. And then that low down grunt torque, I mean, yes, this engine redlines at 6,500 RPM, and yes, the Mustang GT redlines at 7,500 RPM, but this thing builds such linear torque, and it's so smooth, so smooth. But I'm telling you, having these seats heated and ventilated just makes the whole act of driving that much nicer. All right, guys, if you're ready, I'm ready. Love this gearbox. On throttle, here we go. Yeah. God, I love the sound of this thing. Handles so nicely. <laughs> and Chevy gets it done right with the right amount of pops and bangs out of that exhaust. It sounds like a freaking, just World War II freaking tank, man. It just builds and builds and builds and it's just fabulous. And then of course you got that automatic rev match downshift feature, the pot, you hear that? It's like 4th of July out the back of the exhaust. Watch, you get up to about 4,500, let off. And then as it's coming down, right there, it's like 4th of freaking July. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. But really, it's it's smooth, it's capable, and it's going away. That's the crazy thing, is that this car is going away. They're not making them after 2024. So it's, it's really, really insane and a shame that that is what's happening. And this gearbox, like I said, absolutely phenomenal. So freaking smooth. You got plenty of grip, and if you know what, you roll into that throttle a little harder, especially first gear, you'll smoke them because you got it. Right, guys, I put the top down, and of course we're gonna be going on throttle so you can hear that V8 rumble. Really nice, amazing setup in this car. And I like the fact, like I said, that it's got a tonneau cover to help clean up the whole back end of the car. All right, guys, pulling away from the light. On throttle. Unbelievable, unbelievable. builds the power it makes you feel you feel so connected and that's the key it's just feeling so connected to the car 
That's really what allows you to feel good behind the wheel of this car is the connected feel. All right, guys, second gear on throttle. Nice. Freaking wonderful. You hear those pops and bangs? Holds the line so incredibly well and the fact that it allows you to really be able to flow through the gears so nicely is what this car is all about. And it's definitely a better transmission than the one you get in a Mustang GT. Putting the top up, you just hold the button down and that top is gonna go back up because it's getting hot here, that's for sure. You get a little bit of a chime right about there and now you can put up the windows backs first then the fronts one more time huh we can't we got to do it on throttle unbelievable you just feel so good behind the wheel of one of these and like i said if you want one, you better jump on it quick because 2024 is the last year. But we're going to get back to Dimmit Chevrolet and wrap this one up. I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys. It's been one of those drop top, sunny kind of days out here in Florida. Burning it up, sweating it out, and getting it done with this manual transmission Chevrolet Camaro SS. Let me know what you think. First of all, we got to thank Raheel. Eli, the whole crew, getting us access to this Camaro SS drop top. One of the final ones that are going to be coming down the pipeline. But let me know what you think. Would you rather go Mustang GT convertible? Would you rather get one of those custom Challenger conver uh, convertibles and spend some buku money? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out. Hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up, Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. The more and more muscle cars he's around, the bigger his muscles get. So show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.